morning. Last week marked a strong negative week and the first one for the second half of the year. Inflation seems to rise, uh, but that being said, it seems to rise for specific products and industries. So most analysts feel that fears might be overblown for now. Uh, on Friday though, equities retraced sharply, falling around 1%, even in the light of positive retail numbers that beat expectation. And then the 10 year yield is falling as well, and so is gold these days. Now looking at Bitcoin, prices are falling in what is clearly a downtrend if you're looking at the past uh, two weeks or at best a retest of the support zone. So right now Bitcoin is hovering around 31,500 at the very bottom of that range between 30k and 40k. The Bitcoin dominance is still edging higher and lower, uh, typically around 46, 45. So alts are showing a mixed uh, performance. Polkadot, Maker, Terra, Aave are relatively outperforming the past few sessions and Ethereum, Matic, the graph are relatively underperforming, falling one or two percent. Now among some interesting news uh, that came in the past few days, we heard of El Salvador potentially issuing its own stable coin. This is not to compete with the US dollar, but simply to provide a blockchain based one. Um, that will be managed and monitored by the government. The interesting part is the whole country's financial system would literally be on the blockchain, which I think is such an interesting experiment. On the very note of stablecoin, US Treasury's Yellen uh, said that regulators would meet on Monday to discuss stablecoins. Now, we don't know if that's a positive or a negative for the crypto space, uh, but one hint might come from Jerome Powell saying one of the arguments that are offered in favor of central bank digital currencies is you would not need stablecoins. You would not need cryptocurrencies if you had a digital US currency. Now, I'll let you think of that what you will. Away from uh, the news and looking at on-chain data, very interesting to see uh, on-exchange reserves of Ether uh, continue to decrease while on the short-term basis, we've seen a massive Bitcoin transfers in exchanges, about 14,550 coins uh, to Binance specifically. So we might see an underperformance, outperformance uh, from one or the other. That's it for me today. I wish you a great day and a great trading day. If you haven't done so yet, please like, please subscribe. It helps with the visibility. Also means you'll be updated when new videos come out.